unique here. I'm going to try something a little bit different this time. We're not going to talk about Legos or comic books. I am a Disney World annual pass holder, and last week I decided to check out the Roundup Rodeo Barbecue at uh, Disney's Hollywood Studios over in Toy Story Land, and um, had never been there, had been in the park all day, and the rides were uh, not that long of a line, uh, not a long wait, so while I was standing in line, I saw that there were reservations available, and instead of getting the normal burgers, fries, uh, sodas, ice cream, got a reservation. So. Um, Went in there, booked it, and um, through the magic of editing, I'm going to take you inside, show you some of the d decor, the food, um, and then we'll come back and I'll tell you about that food. That's neat. Hey everybody, Greek Geek here at Disney's Hollywood Studios at the Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. Trying it out for the first time and the first course was just delivered. This is family style. I'm going to show you guys a little picture of everything that we get and let you know how it tastes. Comes with a little cucumber tomato salad, some watermelon, and these delicious cheddar biscuits with a uh, some sort of a chili pepper sauce. Very good. Full course, ribs, some sausage, chicken, corn on the cob, potato barrels, coleslaw, and mac and cheese. Ribs are pretty good. Tater tots are tasty. Brisket's pretty good. So far, so good. All right, guys, welcome back. So you got to see inside the Roundup Rodeo Barbecue, uh, the different uh, food options, a little bit of the uh, decorations and scenery, and let's talk about it a little bit. So they start you off with a um, watermelon salad, cucumber salad. I did not really eat any of that. I think I had one bite with a cucumber salad and um, the only thing that I did eat was the cheddar biscuits that are similar to the Red Lobster biscuits, but these are much better. They're fluffier and uh, they come with a, like a pepper jam that was really good. So didn't fill up on that. For $45 per adult, I was not filling up on cucumbers and watermelon. Um, then for the main course, they bring you out a platter of meat. It's barbecue chicken, uh, ribs, brisket, um, and sausage. And uh, the side dishes are mac and cheese that are covered with like a crushed goldfish crackers. My son really loved those. Uh, coleslaw, uh, tater tots, which was the only side dish that we did get refills of. And um, some beans that were uh, pretty good that had like, um, I think they had some brisket or some beef in there. And like I said, it's, it's, um, it's all you can eat. Um, and you can just ask if you don't want to have all the same stuff you can just say hey we want barbecue chicken and ribs <clears throat> and that's basically what we did um, we, we got refills of the tater tots those were our favorite side uh, the coleslaw I didn't touch the beans were good um, the mac and cheese was just okay and I'd say the the best meats were uh, definitely the ribs and probably the chicken, the brisket was okay. I was a little too excited in that video that you see. That was after like nine hours in the park and not eating. So um, gotta lower your expectations a little bit. That was, that was the hungry Greek geek being overly excited about getting some food finally. But um, let's talk about value. Is it worth it? Well, that question when you come to Disney, uh, you don't go there for a value uh, proposition. But you know, if you go for a couple of people and just get chicken tenders, fries, drinks, and, and a dessert and ice cream, you're going to spend 40 or $50. It's going to be quick service, standing in line, um, you know, that's what you're going to get. So for this, 45 bucks per adult, 25 for children, and uh, I have the 10% discount for the annual pass uh, for Disney. So for a special occasion, um, you know, birthday, graduation, school, something like that, I definitely would recommend it. The, the service was top-notch. Our waitress was 
back and forth, filling our drinks, um, can't beat it. And uh, I did fail to mention the, the desserts. Uh, I'll show a picture of the desserts. We tried the gluten-free uh, cheesecake. I think it was a blueberry cheesecake and the chocolate silk pie. And for the kids, they have a chocolate cupcake with a little forky um, cookie in there. And they're extremely tiny. I didn't ask if you could get more uh, after you eat all the meats and sides. I don't think there's many people asking for additional um, desserts. But yeah, it was um, overall, I think it's worth it. Is it something that I would do again? Probably not, but I'm glad that we did it. Something different aside from the quick service, just typical, you know, burgers, chicken tenders, and fries. So I give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you could comment, like, and subscribe, let me know. Have you been to Roundup Rodeo Barbecue? What did you like? What uh, didn't you like? And uh, as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.